and welcome to Joan Comrie's Feeding Tips. My name is Joan Comrie and today we're going to talk about how to get started with spoon feeding. So you've already listened to the video about your baby's readiness cues and you've got that checked off. You went to the store and you bought a really good spoon and now you're ready to go. So when should you time your first feeding? You want to make sure that your baby is hungry but not starved. So that may mean for some babies and what I'm going to talk about today and any of the things I'm going to talk about on my videos, there are no hard and fast rules. These are just some ideas for you and what I want you to do is take the idea, you're the mommy, you know your baby best, I want you to figure out what works best for you and what works best for baby. So some babies it would be better to nurse or to provide a bottle before spoon feeding because it takes the edge off the hunger. Some babies, it would be better to um, schedule right in between feedings because it works better for them. So whatever you choose is probably going to work fine and if not, you just modify. So what texture do I use? Now remember, your baby has been taking um, thin liquids, breast milk or, or formula for four to six months. So you don't want to then introduce something super thick. So keep your puree very thin. You can always increase the texture as the baby tolerates. Now some babies do better with the thin because it provides less sensory input and the baby will be less likely to gag. But some babies, the thin is just too um, scattered and the baby doesn't know what to do with it and it's too disorganizing. So if you thicken it up a little bit, because we know thicker liquids or thicker purees are more cohesive, which means they stick together better and they're a lot easier for the baby to collect and then to swallow. So maybe something a little bit thicker would be best for your baby. So what you wanna do is find whatever your first food is gonna be, get the right texture and then offer that for three days. You wanna do three days because that will give you enough time to identify if your baby's having an allergic response or an intolerance or some kind of response to that food. Um, you want to provide maybe one to two tablespoons of food for the first feeding. Even if they're hungry and they seem like they want more, I do not recommend adding a bigger volume because it could just hit the bottom and then come back up as reflux. And we want all of our feeding experiences to be positive. Um, and if they just really want more, you can provide that maybe in a couple hours or so, whenever the next feeding would be. Typically, parents provide one feeding um, for the first um, few weeks or few days, and as they become better at the feeding, then you can just increase to two times a day and then increase it to three times a day. And eventually what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to have the feeding at the same time that you have your family meals because it's really important for feeding development for your child to be watching the family eating and having positive eating experiences. Um, remember, food before one is just for fun. So this first experience with food can be kind of messy and it's also important if the baby is not comfortable with feeding that you stop right away. But what you can then do is just put a blob of food on the tray and let them touch it and play with it. And you might see that they take their fingers and they scoop it up and they use their fingers as a spoon. And that may be more comfortable for them than it would be using a spoon. And if that's the case, it may be something to watch for a little bit and wait on, or it may be some indication that your baby is going to need some professional help um, working through the, the feeding milestones. So what I want you to remember is food before one is just for fun. Start slow with very thin puree to make sure that they're comfortable and you can always increase that texture as you feel is tolerated. You want to try to time the feedings so that they're in a good mood. They're not too hungry, but they're hungry enough to be able to try something new. And you want to make sure that it's fun. Feeding, especially in these early times, you need to develop very fun, positive feeding experiences. Remember, if this was helpful for you, please feel free to share it with a friend. And also, please leave me a comment of something that you might be interested in learning about more of. Thanks.